Hi, in this video you will learn about TweetDeck and how to add a hashtag to TweetDeck that you can use during a EdChat to make it a little bit easier for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of TweetDeck just to kind of show you from scratch. You're going to want to log into your Twitter account from your computer and then open a new tab, keep that Twitter and the regular Twitter open. Then you're just going to search TweetDeck. And it's actually a product of Twitter, and so it should auto-log you on. Uh, so you'll see here I didn't have to log in because it's recognizing that I have Twitter open, so um, it will auto-log you in. Um, once uh, You'll see here that I have some columns already created here, but I'm going to show you how to create columns um, that you can add to your tweet deck. So to add a column, you're going to click right here where it says Add Column. And then I'll show you to start off with how to add a hashtag. Um, so I'm going to click search here, and then I'm actually going to type in the hashtag. So hashtag right here, I'm right here in this box, um, NISD Ed Chat, and then click enter. And then you'll see here that it adds that column at the very end of my tweet deck. So what I typically do during an edge chat is I move this column all the way to the very beginning of my tweet deck. So in order to move them, you click right here, and then you can click this little um, arrow. I have quite a few set up, so bear with me for just a second while I get this all the way to the front end of my tweet deck. You can also click and drag this right here, but I've never had very much luck with that, so I'm just clicking um, the arrow button to get mine, again, all the way to the front end. That way it's really easy to see when I'm doing a Twitter chat um, and I'm able to follow along easily. So now you can see that mine is all the way to the beginning. This is my column number one. Uh, so what will happen now, I'm going to click this to get rid of that little um, now what will happen is the tweets that are tweeted to NISD EdChat will all be right here in this column. So it'll be really easy for you to follow their auto update and refresh. So um, it's a lot easier to follow than uh, doing it on your phone. Um, let me show you another type of column that you might add. Um, I have lists of the campuses um, that I work with and I have um, I'm not sure how exhaustive the list is as far as how many of the teachers I've added to each list but I try to do a good job about keeping it updated and I want to show you that list because you can add a list to, as a column and then you'll be able to see all the tweets from let's say the Leon Springs teachers that I have listed so I'm going to come back to Twitter here to show you the list um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search for me because the lists are mine. So you'll just type in at Tech Coach Robles and click on my name, and then it will take you to my profile. And you'll see here where it says lists. Go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to scroll down here to LSE and click on there. That's the Leon Springs list. And when I click on that, and then click list members here, you'll be able to see, hold on, hold on one second, not wanting to pop up, hold on, let me see if I can refresh. Okay, so, well, first of all, the tweets, these are all tweets by all the Leon Springs teachers here, or admin. Usually when I click list members, it has a list of all of the, um, the people that are already members of that list. I'm not really sure um, why it's not showing that right now, but um, regardless, what you're going to want to do is subscribe to my list. Um, now, it's not going to let me do that because the list is mine, so it won't let me subscribe, which might be why those members aren't listed. Um, but anyhow, just click subscribe. It's probably going to be up here. Um, you'll click subscribe. And once you subscribe to any list, then you can add that list as a, a column on TweetDeck. So let me just show you how that looks. So once you've subscribed to the Leon Springs list, I'm going to pop over here to TweetDeck. I'm going to click Add Column, and I'm going to this time choose List. And what you're going to see here is all of the lists that you have created or lists that you have subscribed to. 
So um, you'll see here, subscribe to. So these lists weren't created. These ones down here were not created by me. But since I subscribe to them, I'm able to add them as a column on my tweet deck. So yours are going to be down here. Mine, since I own the Leon Springs list, it's going to be up here. All I'm going to do is click on the list, and it's going to pop up right here. And then right here, I'm going to click uh, to add the column. And then again, it's going to add that column at the very end of my tweet deck, um, like on the back end of it. And so here is my LSE column. And when you scroll through that, you have all of the tweets from all of the teachers and administrators that are um, on that list. Um, so, you know, you can recognize the names on, the, on, on there. Um, and again, to move the list, click right here. And then you can move that. Uh, this will be a great way for you to monitor all of the things that are being tweeted from the teachers on the list because sometimes, you know, when we search a hashtag expecting to see everything, you know, from the Leon Springs teachers, but sometimes teachers forget to add a hashtag. So this is an easier way to make sure you catch all of the tweets from uh, the Leon Springs teachers. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. Please let me know if you have any um, trouble or if you need a little bit more help getting your tweet deck set up for tomorrow's EdChat. Thanks.